As Nigeria marks one year under President Bala Tinubu's administration, the impact of his leadership is evident, especially in the country's automotive industry. The Director General, National Automotive Design and Development Council, says the council has been instrumental in driving forward the president's vision of a renewed hope agenda as Tinubu has directed ministries, departments and agencies to use compressed natural gas vehicles made in Nigeria. The Director General said a significant part of the Tinubu's vision was the development and production of items such as car seats, leather and oil filters prioritized to meet domestic demand and reduce reliance on imports. We have to first of all thank Mr. President for coming out in straight word. This is not, no, it's unambiguous. It was straight. The, your, your submission is going to be rejected if it's not CNG and CNG uh, in Nigeria. So we, what we are, for now, before the, the president came up with this, the compliance with the executive order that was an assistant executive order that encouraged uh, MDAs to patronize Nigeria, a percentage of their vehicle, auto procurement, to be locally assembled vehicles. So we are working with necessary uh, stakeholders and uh, agencies to achieve that. And with this, uh, directive from the president is make, it, in fact, it make our job easier. And I'm sure every stakeholder in the industry are very, very happy with that because they know we need now to now invest more in CNG vehicle. The most of the the, the Nigerian the, the assembler we have, most of them are already they already have the kit. They have been training themselves. They've been doing uh, manpower training to get at least to equip them, equip the staff on how to do the conversion. And some of the manufacturer or assembler are already doing direct CNG so that there will be no need for conversion. It's coming out as CNG. But let me add, when we say CNG, most often is hybrid. It's what we call by four. It's we still have PMS or AGO if it's AGO and say have CNG. So it's most often by component part development has been the major achievement so far now because before now I mentioned there are a lot of parts and luckily in Nigeria we have the capability to produce most of these parts. We may not be able to produce all and nobody even saying do 50% now. We are not even saying do 70% now. We are saying the seat in the car I'm sitting on, let it be Nigeria. The, the leather, let it be Nigeria. The, the uh, oil filter, based on our capability. Where I said that is when you look at oil filter, we, can, we are using in a day, and what we can meet in the market, we cannot meet the market demand. But again, with what we have, we should be able to consume those ones we have in Nigeria before we look outside. And by doing that, it will encourage investment for an existing one and new one with the market. So what we have done in this is to let people know the component part development and the essence of doing that. Not only that, we are working on how to support the component parts manufacturers. We've had engagement with them in, in uh, Newe. We went to meet them in their offices, in their workshop in their plants in Newe area because we notice a lot of them are around that access. And then we are putting together an industrial park in Newe. The essence of industrial park is to bring everybody under the same roof so that they will be able to, to have shared facility. Because if you are there together, you share the power together. If you need conference room, you have only conference room for almost 50 component part manufacturer. You have only one training center for everybody. Everybody can be using it. So all this will bring down the cost to make their cost competitive. And again, we have we are working on uh, uh, test centers, material test center, component test centers. So this test center will ensure that the product that Nigerians are making meets international standard and acceptable by some. 
So we are working with some also on, on uh, uh, making sure that all this one makes sound.